one more person who has been who is going to be vetted tomorrow. From a humble beginning as a son of a petrol seller who defied the odds of being tied down by poverty, he has now excelled in the legal profession and on the verge of being a justice of the Supreme Court of Ghana if approved. Lawyer Yoni Kolendi, Executive Secretary of Kolendi at Law, uh, hails from Issa, one of Ghana's poorest communities where educational facilities were limited. He was nominated by President Akufuad a couple of months ago with three others as justices of the Supreme Court, subject to parliamentary vetting and approval, as you just saw. Ahead of that vetting, his vetting tomorrow uh, on Joe News, Apple West correspondent Rafik Salam takes a closer look at the life of the lawyer, Yoni Kolendi. To those who know him well, he is Emmanuel Yoni Kulendi, born 56 years ago to a Second World War veteran, RSM Timbela Maluri Kulendi and Kanchoma Timbela. He is the fourth of seven children of Kanchoma, who used to brew local pito for sale at one of Ghana's slums, Wazongo. A chick that will grow into a rooster can be spotted every day it hatches. Yoni Kulendi exhibited those qualities. His senior brother, now a businessman, Joseph Timbela Dakura, is therefore not surprised about his meteoric rise in the legal profession. I saw him. He came. I saw him. He came out as a bright individual in the family, and uh, he has been with those futures from the start. At his early days, he was very much involved in Christianity, which took him to the uni himself has never hidden his ambition and love for the legal profession right from his lower primary days at Tindamba School. If you met anybody who taught me, any of my teachers, um, and you ask them about me, even in primary two, I used to say I'll become a lawyer. But my resolve to become a lawyer was fired when I went through the tragedy of my life. And anybody who knows me and has followed my work as a lawyer will appreciate that it's a work I do with total commitment. I don't kid or mess around it. He however had a blip in his educational career at what secondary school when he was in his fifth year which made him to spend almost two years at the war prisons as a remand prisoner. Matthew Bambasan was a teacher at the school. He was among one of the ten of my brilliant students. Very, 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 very bright. He was very super, very gentle. I know too well that um, if he was allowed, I thought he could have been a doctor. So I was, was surprised when he became uh, this and, uh, uh, a lawyer. It's a uh, home village. It's 56 kilometers away from the regional capital. The Upper West region is considered as one of Ghana's poorest regions. Narrowing it to Isa, it is worse. Poverty is more endemic, coupled with limited educational opportunities. And this is the last place anyone who expects could produce a Supreme Court judge. It is stories like that of Yoni that inspires people like Ibrahim Seydi Bamanjo. He too, a native of Gorupie, which is located 22 kilometers away from Wa, wants to be a practicing lawyer one day. The only thing we need in life is efforts and the, the stamina to move ahead in spite of everything. So I think that what he has done has been a great source of inspiration for all of us. Whether you are in town, you are in village, you are wherever you find yourself in the Upper West region. Like the fowl that does not forget who trimmed his feathers during the rainy season, Yoni, despite his stature in society, hasn't turned his back on his native Isa, says the chief executive for the FEMA Bure Isa, Nadi Sanda. Lawyer asked me, he said, when you go to hospital, what is the, where is the first point of call? And I said, an OPD. He asked whether we have an OPD. I said, no, we don't have an OPD, but we have a proposal, there's some design drawings for an OPD. But once we don't have an OPD, he was going to help us with an OPD. Then he engaged consultants, they expanded the drawings, and then the cost went up. As I talk to you, the cost is now running above 300,000 Ghana cities. The people of the Upper West region will be glued to their television sets to watch their own uni grilled by members of Ghana's parliament. They will wait with bated breath for its approval and subsequent swearing in by the president. When that is done, 
the father of four, will be on record as the first person in the 37 year history of the Upper West Region to sit as a justice at the apex court of the land. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wa.